only played like a drive or two behind the field. Felt good just being out there, you know, uh, in front of the fans. Wish we started a little faster, you know, but uh, it felt good just getting out there, running around, getting uh, gang, gang speed type reps. Martin, I know how competitive you can get during these practices, so how exciting is it for joint practices to be here this week and get a different offense that you're going to get a chance to go up against in a couple days? Very excited, you know, very excited for the moment. Um, just to put good things on tape. Uh, game time reps with my guys, you know, against a different opponent. So that's always fun. Um, but, you know, it's ultimately about what we do. But, you know, it's going to feel good going against another opponent and not going against our offense all the time. Mark, uh, Kevin, Kevin mentioned that it's going to be a lot of ones versus ones mm -hmm. in those joint practices. Do you think you're going to get matched up with a guy like Justin Jefferson a lot? So, uh, I, hope, I hope so. I really don't care, honestly, who lined up against me. You know, I'm going to make them, you know, respond to me, you know, do my job, do what I do. But, uh, of course, Got that on my mind, you know, if he, when he comes in here, you know, he's one of the best receivers in the game. Decided, you know, to get uh, game reps against him and, and just, you know, learn what, what I, whatever I can and, and just apply it to my game from, from those reps. MJ, I think your rookie year, the Eagles were here. And it seemed, I remember you having a pretty good couple of days against them. It was kind of like a turning point of your rookie training camp. Do you remember that at all? Yeah, I remember, uh, I remember that first joint practice. I would say, it, it was very fun. It was different, you know, didn't really know what to expect um, coming in as a rookie. But I was just excited, you know, to get those reps against other guys, you know, and make plays, obviously, because that's what we do. But um, I feel like I did pretty good, pretty good. I, but it was always room for improvement. So um, that first joint practice, it was it was pretty good. It was OK. It, was, it wasn't to my to my uh, expectations, though. Do you think it's kind of like the highlight of training camp? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, that, I would say that's the highlight of training camp because um, you know, you, you're traveling somewhere or you got a team coming in and you get, you know, you get to just let all the bullets go. Honestly, you get to play fast, play physical, and you know, just worry about, you know, the consequences later, so. Do you have to keep things under control? So a lot of these joint practices end up with fights. Yeah, you want to keep it, you know, professional. You want to keep it under control, but at the end of the day, football is football. You know, it's fast, physical, and uh, things happen. So hopefully we get, we, we don't have any fights, but I mean, it's a part of the game too. Martin, Martin, what was your number one takeaway from when you spent all that time with Denzel Ward down in Florida, mm -hmm. uh, just in addition to, I'm sure, getting to know him as a player, but just professionally and technique-wise, what were some of your takeaways from him during that time? Um, just focus on the tasks at hand. You know, just be where your feet are. Um, you know, no day is important than the, than the other one. You know, just uh, focus on the day at, at hand, you know, whatever you have in front of you and just, you know, get better. That's how, uh, you know, the real pros do it. You know, treat each day like a game. Come in and just try to find a way to improve and bring somebody along with you. So I would say that. And would you say that you have felt even a little bit of a difference while you're out here in, in training camp? Is anything different for you after having spent that time with him? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, w for me and him, I would just say just, you know, that uh, that brother, that brotherhood on the field, just knowing, you know, that we both prepare for the moment and, you know, we both ready. And uh, it's kind of easy to go out there and put it all on the line for a guy like that when, you know, you went through those tough moments, you know, you shed blood, sweat, and tears, you know, during the training camp. And just for, you know, for these moments right here to come back out and push each other. So, you know, that's that was a blessing. Martin, Coach said he, uh, Coach Fansky said, he sent you a text last week after a play, and you broke up one to Amari. Um, first of all, do you remember that play exactly, like what happened on that play? Yeah, it was actually a, um, a sluggo against Jerry Judy. Okay. And he texted me about it. He was like, uh, great rep. Um, I, I want to say my, it probably was last year training camp. I want to say last year I got a sluggo, same, same position on the field, but we, we was just going um, this way. We was going the other way and um, I got beat on it, you know, and this year I got the same, same rep, same position on the field and I, I made a play on it, so that was good. What's the mentality for, I mean, it looks like both you and Denzel are really locked in out there and ready to, I don't know, show that maybe you guys are two of the best cornerbacks. I know you're waiting for Greg to get back to, but what's the mentality just in terms of what you guys are ready to show this year? Um, we built our standard early on last year, you know, the standard is the standard. We we feel like, but we also, we know we are the best cornerbacks in the league. So we just got to put it on tape and prove it, you know, and just come out here every day. You know, we try not to allow no catches um, and just try to get better at everything we do, you know, and ultimately our position is to shut down a, the receiver that's, you know, the quarterback tend to throw the ball to. So dude, that's, that's our job, you know, so we don't want to give up no passes and just um, make the defense stronger. 
What's yeah. the difference between a preseason game rep and a joint practice rep? What's the difference? Um, I probably would say not too much of a difference because whenever you've been recording and you on you on you on film, you know, you want to put good things on tape. So I would probably say um, nothing at all. Really, when you're on the field, you're on the green, everything everything matters. It don't matter if it's a first team we, rep, walk through rep. When you just talked about that play with Jerry Judy, that is that how you, are you a quick learner? Would you say because you, you made that correction? Is that a try, strong suit of yours? Uh, yes, sir. I try to I try to you know um, listen. And, and learn also, you know, apply, apply things to my game. So if I might get beat, you know, on, on this route or something, just learning what I did technically wrong on that rep and apply it to my next rep so it won't happen again. So I would say, yes, I am a, a very big fan of te technique. I am a technician, and uh, that's how I like to make my plays, by being technical. You, you, pretty easily, you pretty easily rattled off the details of those reps, too. Are you a guy, do you, like, remember every rep? Oh yeah, I remember everything. <laughs> yeah, like every detail. I remember like everything from a kid when I was like three till like now. Like I remember every little thing, like conversations, face. Like I just that's just me. I always remember everything. So, so did you play two series against Green Bay? Yes, sir. I played eleven plays. Exactly. Eleven plays. So do you think you'll get more out of two days of practicing against the Vikings than you did? In those 11 plays? Yes, sir. I would hope so. I know um, the ones we are getting a lot of reps this uh, this week in these joint practices. So I'm just excited, you know, to, uh, to go against a good receiver core, you know, young quarterback, just see what they got and see what they bring in town. You know, we'll be prepared. It's so going to be fun. If you get as much, if not more, out of the joint practice than you do for the preseason, why do we need both? Why can't we just have three joint practices every summer? Um, because I would probably say the game time. Just game time reps. It might be just a little different, you know, because you know the fans involved. You're on TV, so you know you want to see what guys can do under pressure. Or some people might say it's pressure, but it's not really pressure. But you know, is it a blessing or a curse to remember everything since you were three years old? Uh, some things, you know, that it's traumatic that I have remembered to be honest. <laughs> but uh, I feel like it's a blessing, man. You know, uh, memory is it's, it's it's a big thing, you know. So if you can remember, like. I like to remember what I need to, you know. I like to wash out, you know, like the bad memories. So, um, like a next play mentality as a cornerback. If I don't know what a guy beat me on, but next play, you know, that, that play doesn't matter. Even if I make a play, it really doesn't matter. But, you know, I, I know I made it, you know. But, yeah, next play mentality always. Martin, it looks like, um, you know, whenever I go on pro football focus or whatever, I feel like you and, and Denzel really don't get the rankings or the respect that you deserve on there. And then also maybe in terms of pro bowl and stuff like that. So. Just wondering, does that bother you, or how does that impact you? And do you feel like you're playing at a full level? And is that where you believe you'll be this year? Just focus, just coming in, just focusing on bettering myself every day. You know, uh, I, I try not to look at like you know the accolades too much because honestly. Uh, it matters, but it really doesn't. You know, uh, I just want to be the best I can be, you know, for this team and this organization, for my fans, and you know, just for everybody that believe in me. So um, I feel like the outside world, it will catch on, you know. So we we're really not worried about that, though. You know, we worried about you know Cleveland Browns football. Just, just really? you remember the things you need the last to. one. What, 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 kind of, what kind of things do you need to remember? Um, playbook, communication, execution. Um, Things that really matter in life, you know, things that's important to me, um, my faith in Christ, you know, uh, and just, you know, everything that, that, that can better me as a person, you know, just I don't, I don't like to hold on to, you know, bad memories or, you know, bad experiences. I, I want to, like, be the best version of me, you know, so everything that helped me grow, that's what I want to hold on to. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Yes, Welcome back. Appreciate it. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I'm glad to have a job, I have opportunity to come back and um, just compete in a place I'm comfortable in and it feels good to see all my teammates again and see everybody around the building. So, you know, I can't, I can't complain at all. When did you kind of get the hint that this was, this was a possibility? Uh, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. Was, I kind of, I kind of was talking to some people and, you know, saw what, what might, might happen. So, uh, Were you know. Were you working out at center? Exclusively at center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I was, I was uh, running, running center. So, so what have your last like twelve hours been like? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I got the news, um, packed up my stuff, got on a red eye, got here this morning at six. At the walkthrough now, I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you from Pacific Northwest? 
so I went to I went to school there. So, but I spent a lot of time out there. Um, but uh, any, any uh, feelings about having to leave home again? Not really, not really. It's what this. I mean, it's what this business entails. You know, it's got to be ready to move at a moment's notice. So, no attachment involves. Got to continue to work wherever I'm at. So, did you bring your fullback playbook with you? <laughs> uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Do you think that was a big part of? Why they went out and got you because you played so well there last year? I don't know. I, I mean, not sure. Um, I think uh, just the familiarity is good, and you know, being back in the around the same guys, playing around the same guys is also you know that's a plus. You know, being comfortable around those guys. So um, I think that that's probably more so what it is. How did you like that fullback? It was fun. Yeah, it was definitely fun. It was definitely fun. It was easier for my mom to see me and stuff. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> when you were going into free agency, did you mm -hmm. think there was a chance you could come back here, or were you pretty much set on you were going to be gone? Um, you know, during those times, you know, you, there's a whole lot of things that are offered to you and you talked about, but, um, you know, I think there was a there was a chance, but. You know, I was just kind of weighing my options and seeing where I was in life and, you know, trying to make the best decision. Um, but all that being said, I'm I'm glad to be back here, though, so for now, sure. How was it going for you out there with, with the Seahawks? It was good. Yeah, I mean, it, it was going it was going good. Um, I was, you know, performing well at training camp, I felt like. Um, you know, I was, I was getting along well there, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm here now. I'm, I'm just ready to start working here in and the, get back to work. In the short time you've been exposed to – the new new stuff that's going on here offensively mm -hmm. is it a big difference. Uh, to be honest, I've been here for maybe thirty minutes, uh, so I'm not <laughs> sure. Um, but from what I hear, you know, it's a uh, it's a it's a good it's a good mesh. So. Um, oh yeah. Go. Any of your teammates have a big reaction to finding out? I got a few text messages. Yes, I got a few text messages from people in the building, people on the on the team. So I definitely definitely. Uh, was welcomed for sure. So, were you surprised to see that the Browns were coming all the way out for the final preseason game on August 24th, and looking forward to turning around and going back? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't even thought about that honestly, but um, yeah, yeah. It should be should be fun to go see those guys again. I was just there, but um, yeah. No, it's it's you know it's part of the deal. So, just got to go back out there and keep performing, keep working. Nick, I mean, it was a couple of years ago where you went down in the preseason with a serious injury. So just knowing what Luke's going through and just can you talk about like how difficult that is? It's, when you're yeah, in that position? yeah, no, for sure. I mean, it's definitely rough. And, you know, I, as soon as I saw it, I, I let him know, like, if there's anything I can help you with, if there's, you know, somebody you could talk, you want to talk to about it, like, just let me know. Because um, I, like you said, I mean, I know how that feels. It's a tough, it's a tough situation to be in. Um, so, you know, I, I, I hate to see that. I, it sucks to see. Because um, I know he, he was working hard and you know doing what he needed to do out here, so you know. Um, but yeah, like I told him, I, if he needed anything, you know, just shoot for sure. How big is just having that that person to talk to while you're going through? I know you you talked before yeah. about, about your own recovery, you know, kind of that empty feeling, that void that, that kind of exists. Mm -hmm. So how big is it just to, to have somebody to kind of lean? Yeah, no, it's definitely big time. It's definitely big time. Um, you know, you got a lot of thoughts going through your head during them situations so you just need to you just need to let it out sometimes and just get just have a soundboard mostly I think I know you touched on it a little bit but joining back with an offensive line with guys that you know even as you're learning the nuances of the new offense how helpful is that to talk to like Joel Wyatt like those guys that you played with before oh I mean it definitely is huge it's huge just you know because they know how how I learn you know they know how I play so and how my kind of my mind works so they know how to kind of just transfer the knowledge to me and the information so definitely worth it. I mean I was just you know talking with Jack out there while I was out there about what was kind of going on and you know it feels good just to have those guys have some familiarity so the transition is a little bit smoother back. So like you, feel said, you just got here obviously but this week is the joint practice week I know these are some of the most competitive yeah. and integral practices of training yeah. camp like what are your thoughts going into that with the Vikings coming here in a couple days? I just got to play football I just not overthink it you know it's the same thing I was just doing yeah. it's just I'm on a different team now so I just got to just get up to speed as fast as I can with what's going on in the playbook and just go out and keep playing football same did thing. You, did you feel kind of alone Nick when you were going through that knee uh, rehab from your knee. Injury. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was a tough time for sure. It's, uh, 
It definitely is a tough time, especially that early in the season. You don't ever want to go through anything like that in general. But, you know, with all everything that was kind of happening during that time for me, um, you know, it, it is it definitely get, it's a little lonely. But, you know, there's there's ways to kind of climb out of that and, you know, reaching out to people and kind of putting that energy into something productive and, you know, but yeah, at first, yeah, it definitely was tough for sure. Because you were projected to be the starter right after the Yes, yeah, yeah, correct. <laughs> correct, yeah, correct, I was, so. So that must have been kind of a bummer just-, just Absolutely, after. absolutely, absolutely. But, you know, I've, I've, I've learned to just kind of take this how it goes and just be, be grateful for opportunities. Like even just coming back here, just being grateful for that and, you know, being grateful to have, you know, a job and being able to work and just play the sport that I love in any shape or fashion, whether within in any role. So, you know, I'm just 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 glad to be able to do it. We're gonna take a couple more. I know this happened quickly, obviously, but um, and getting here like, like to this morning. But what were those kind of early conversations with Av or Kevin and just about you coming back and what they expressed to you about being back? Yeah, I mean, I, to be honest, I only had a conversation with Av um, after it happened. Mm -hmm. So that's how kind of fast it happened. I was talking to my agent a little bit just about what was kind of going on. But, yeah, there was no uh, conversation before. It was just like, yeah. this is happening. Get on a plane. Get out here. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah. So. What about your housing situation? Did you get your old spot back? <laughs> nah, probably not. I already moved all my stuff back to Seattle. So, um, you know, I'll, fi I'll figure it out. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Good. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, All right, guys. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. How did you think your, your first game on the sidelines? Are you on the sidelines? I was on the sidelines, yep. It was good. Yeah, it was good to be down there with the guys, be able to communicate between series, make sure everything's smooth. You know, such a big part of this game is in-game in adjustments and being able to adapt and, and overcome some things that they show you that you weren't prepared for. And, you know, being hands-on with the players was really great. Tell me, being able to have a Yeah, he's, yeah, Braves has been great. Um, I've known him a little bit over the years. Um, you know, for him to come in and bring a defensive perspective is always really beneficial. Obviously, he played a position that we have to block a lot. And so talking through some of the nuances with the players on different moves that, you know, defensive end or outside backers want to want to play, it, it helps our guys a lot. You know, obviously, he has that perspective as a player, as a defensive mind, but also as a head coach and some of the bigger picture items. So. For me, as still a relatively young coach, it's been you know really beneficial for my own learning and growth and development. And then, I think it pays dividends with our players on the field. Just some of the nuances that he's able to bring and um, continue to help the group get better. How did you and him know each other? Coaching's a small world sometimes, you know. And I think um, we had mutual people we both worked with and just were connected over the years that way. Rave said that he thinks that your experience as quarterback kind of helps you see the tight end room differently. Like, kind of what is your take on? Um, yeah, I don't, like when you're a quarterback or a coordinator, I think, you know, you have to look at the game in a wider lens. And, um, you know, I think we're able to bring some of that to the tight end room, understanding where they fit maybe in a progression or what we're trying to do holistically, offensively. Because I think the more players know why, the better they're able to execute. And we try to bring them the why as much as possible and allow them to go play fast and a little bit more free. Right. I don't think it changes a whole lot. You know, obviously what we do offensively maybe looks a little bit different and maybe there's a couple schemes that you're more likely to run out of 11 than you would be 12. But um, for him, it's, it's a very similar responsibility and role. I think, you know, this offense has the opportunity to put it in multiple positions and really, you know, show his full range of skill set. And that's something that he's been working really hard at and we've been challenging him on and, and he's been very receptive to that. So, you know, we're really pleased where Dave's at and how he's progressed within the offense and, you know, the guy's got a lot of talent. It's our job to make sure we utilize it the best way. Can we talk about the choice routes that you guys are going to be featuring a lot this year? Is that something that David will be responsible for doing as well? Yeah, whoever runs them well gets them, you know, and that's kind of the message to those guys all the time. And, um, you know, if he's one of the guys that can do it, then hopefully he's, you know, gets those opportunities. So. Can you do multiple choice routes on, I mean, on, a, on any given play? Like, how does that work? Um, yeah. They're all a little different. I would say, you know, you can't have more than one. You know, sometimes it's just one guy. Um, so much of it is about the confidence in that guy who's running the route and the confidence in the quarterback from him, you know, 
trusting the decision making at the second or third level. So, you know, Doris and Kev have done a great job of putting those guys in the right positions and, and utilizing our, our skill there. Thank you. It's different between a preseason rep and a joint practice rep. I'll let you know in a couple of days, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's there's an intensity when you have your ones out there going against their ones in a, in a joint practice. And, you know, there's a level of expectation with how we execute. But really, we try to hold that ex, uh, that same expectation no matter what the drill is, whether it's the ones, the twos, the threes, preseason, regular season, playoff, doesn't really matter. We're going to hold our guys to the same level of expectation and standard. And, you know, that doesn't deviate regardless of who we're playing, if it's against ourselves or an opponent or in a game or in a practice. What do you see from uh, Tyler and, and Dorian Look, I got my hands full with the tight end, so you know that that's up to you know Kev and Doris, and you know I thought our quarterbacks gave us a chance to make some plays, and you know it's our job to help protect them. How have you kind of, like from your perspective, witnessed that partnership between uh, Kev and Kevin like work so far this year? Yeah, I think it's been really positive. Um, you know, two really bright offensive minds, obviously, and you know seeing them work together and have cohesion and in, in what they want the offense to look like and and feel like and um, you know there's constant communication between the two of them and then down to the staff so it's really been a great partnership and uh, expected to continue to be that way moving forward okay. awesome you. you guys were easy thanks